let's uh, prepare. Uh, bless you. We're going to get into intercession. Come on up to Lynn. And let's just uh, anticipate God using our prayer tonight. We're... Thank you. Hello. Oh, this is tall. You are tall. Oh, you already put it down. Okay. Because I'm a shorty. Okay. Hello, Jubilee. Praise God. That was awesome. That was so awesome. I just love the worship. The worship, the worship, the worship, the worship. It fumigates. Gets rid of all those critters that want to bug you. <laughs> I love that. And I just cannot ever say enough. The drums, every single time you touch them, um, you're prophesying, and we appreciate you, mister. Okay. I pray the Lord helps us tonight and leads us by his spirit. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. And I don't actually watch, um, speaking of the elections, I don't actually watch, um, well, I don't watch any news, um, any mainstream media news at all. And if you want to get in trouble, watch the news. <laughs> uh, it will try to vex you. Um, and it's really hard because you're kind of wading through trying to figure out what's true and what's not true. And very little is true, I don't think, anymore. Um, so I don't really follow the candidates too much. I really uh, press in. And we're seeking the Lord to have his way. That's really what we're doing. We're seeking the Lord to, to come in and rescue our land. And um, I want to talk about Jubilee real quick first, because the Lord has been speaking about Jubilee. And um, Isaiah 4, um, that we are coming full circle for 40 years. And what's the date? 22nd. September 22nd? Okay, September 22nd is 40 years. And that that is preparing us for the Feast of Tabernacles, Isaiah 4. And he says, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. So I've, this is the Lord redeeming the seven churches. Um, uh, Nathan shared this word with me, and David Wilkerson is the one who had this revelation that these seven women are, are I'm sure a lot of people did. Um, I'm just not wanting to take credit for seeing the seven women as the church. However, I do believe the Lord is redeeming the seven churches of Revelation and um, because it would appear, if you walk according to your to sight, that those candles were taken out because that whole land is um, overtaken by another God right now. But I believe the scripture um, gives us a promise. And he says, In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent. So right now we are dealing with... Um, engineered um, famine coming, engineered pestilence, engineered social engineering, chaos, hatred, warfare, all of the war in the earth. It's all engineered, and um, very little is happening that has not been written in a plan or um, some malignant men. Um, it's wicked spirits in high places working through malignant men. So and women, not to say that the men are only the men. But this scripture the Lord has given to Pastor Steve when he started the church. He also gave it to Nathan. And, um, and so he shared it with me again. And I was like, oh yeah, that's the same scripture. When the Lord shall have, um, and it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. So these are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. They're written in the book. They're written among the living. So their names are written among the living in Jerusalem. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, so all the political stuff that went askew, just like it did in our nation, just like it does in every nation, and just like it does in our hearts, where we politically um, go askew in our opinions and in our emotions. And, um, and so it went askew. In fact, the Lord uh, was sharing that, it, that, that it's a type of Absalom that's actually happening, whose father is David, and he's not walking like David, but he's walking like Absalom. 
And, um, but what did David say? Don't kill. David said, don't kill Absalom. Do not kill him. So our thoughts can never be against, always for. Um, but anyway, he said, when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of all Jerusalem from the midst of thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning so that's what's coming god's going to do that and the lord that's why we want to be on the right side of the burning we want the baptism of fire so that we have already it's like it's the same thing like you we need to throw ourselves on the rock let's throw throw himself on throw himself on us and grind us to powder so we enter in willingly into the baptism of fire Okay, and the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night. I believe the Lord is going to restore that among us. I believe that he, what he started with in the old, he is bringing into completion in the new. He manifested himself and has manifested himself throughout the ages and he is not um, changed, and he is going to manifest himself. In fact, I'm kind of looking for it with my eyes. Like, I believe, I believe God is going to manifest, but for sure he is doing it in the spirit. And he is with us as a cloud and with us um, as a shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be a defense so God's protection, and there shall be a tabernacle. This is the Feast of Tabernacles. This is the tabernacle. This is um, Sukkot. This is um, the lair, which is a whole other understanding. Well, it's, it's just looking into it a little bit further. Um, the lair where the lion lives and the top of the mountains. Lions are mountain dwellers, and they go into the cave and inside of this place, and it is the opposite of the dens, and the underground bunkers that these rich men that Revelation 6 talks about, or 7, um, the, the seven seals, the sixth seal, which I believe we're waiting for, the sixth seal, I believe is next to come. We know the martyrs have been happening. They, that seal's open. The martyrs have been dying. They, uh, just look at China, look at Iran, look at Israel, look, at, uh, look all over the world, and, and the martyrs have been dying. And, but the seventh seal hasn't happened. And what, is this, what does it say that the den, they go into the dens and they've created cities under Denver and under a lot of places. They've got a lot of cities. And I don't look deep into all that stuff, but I just know that they're there. Well, our father did the same thing in the top of the mountains, Isaiah 2, Micah 4, I believe. And, and this is right here in Isaiah 4. And there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat and for a place of refuge, which I believe Jubilee is, a house of refuge. This is a place where we're going to gather. If anything goes down, we come here. I believe that Father wants that, and I personally believe we should prepare for that. Anyway, just said that out loud. And there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat, and for a place of refuge, and for a covert from storm and from rain. And this is where we tabernacle with the Lord. It is, our, it is um, the secret place. And in the spirit, it's in the top of the mountains. In the spirit, it is um, a vast, a vast ca cavern type of place that goes way, 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 way up. And it's where we all come to look exactly alike. And the Lord breathes. And when the Lord breathes, it is a silvery, glistening, we become translucent. Our skin, our hair, our eyes, our whole beings, we become translucent. It is our celestial body. And we are beautiful. We are beautiful. And the Lord is going to do this. And he's going to open our eyes and let us partake of first fruits if we can believe to be, be holy. Anyway, okay, intercession. <sighs> Thank you, Father. Intercession. Thank you, Lord. That's a little bit of what the Lord wants to do with us, Jubilee, as we yield ourselves, as we yield ourselves to be purged, as we yield ourselves to come into our inheritance, our true inheritance, and no more sin consciousness, our true inheritance, glorious, free, complete. 
and he will establish. And I would not be surprised if there is a cloud that dwells here at all times and all we can do is see through the mist. And many times when I am sharing with you guys, I am looking through mist a lot of times. And I don't know if you see that a lot when you're here. We're looking through the mist. He said that the pillars are extremely important for Jubilee. Boaz and Yaakim, what's his name? Um, Huh? Yaakim? The Lord will establish his Yaakim, and Boaz is strength and its quickness. But Boaz is kinsman redeemer. The Lord will establish Jubilee's kinsman redeemer. And right now, I just want to lift up, if you guys will agree with me, I want to lift up right now our finances, all the things that we're lacking, all the things that Jubilee is needing. Ruth could have never done what she did without Naomi. We need to have ears to hear what a voice of wisdom is speaking right now. Naomi told Ruth what to do. And she didn't say, well, you know what, I really don't, mm -mm, nah. That cannot be our mindset. Our mindset has to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And when our mamas and our papas are speaking, we listen and we say, okay. And we do what we're told. We do what we're told by the Lord. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I bless you. And I heard my sister D pray this today, Lord. And I know it is your word. I know it is your will, Lord God. And I agree with my sister, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God, that you are uprooting the counterfeit in the earth of Freemasonry. Lord, the, the, um, the pillars of Freemasonry that you are uprooting, that counterfeit, Father God. And Lord, that you establish in this house, the house of Jubilee, Father God, that you will establish our kinsman redeemer, that you uproot debt from our midst, that you uproot sickness from our midst, that you uproot, Father God, weakness and frailty, Father, in Jesus' name. That you uproot that which is broken and that which is missing and that which is lacking, Father God. And Lord, even your word in Joel 2, in Jesus' name, that you restore to us what the canker worm ate and what the palmer worm ate, in Jesus' name. And the locust ate, Father, in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Father God, for the finances to come in from the north and the south and the east and the west. And we call it in, in Jesus' name. And we reject debt, in Jesus' name. And we call in your providence, Father, your divine nature, Father God, your abundant life, Father, in Jesus' name. And for every household that you're watching right now, every household that the finances come in, the deliverance comes in, the healing comes in, the salvation to the uttermost for our prodigals, our whole households, in Jesus' name, our kinsman redeemer, we welcome you, Jesus Christ. We welcome you, Lord God. We welcome you, our Boaz, in Jesus' name. And we come underneath your covering. And we pull ourselves underneath your covering, the covering of the Holy Spirit. And that you speak to us and tell us what to do and how to perceive, what to think and how to feel. Holy Spirit, that you restore our land. Holy Spirit, restore our land. Lord, in Jesus' name, Jubilee's land, Jubilee's forgotten words, Jubilee's unfulfilled words, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And I want to jump to Joel, too, because Lou Engel, who is doing the Million Woman um, gathering in the mall, and the first scripture he gave was, was um, Isaiah or Psalm 149. Psalm 149. And then my friend Ramona sent me um, a, a new, and I don't, I don't follow people, you guys. I, I don't. I'm not a big, eh, that one's or that one. Um, but what happened is that he said Joel 2. He said Joel 2. And I felt like the Lord's like, really, really listen to that and really, really look at that. And so I'm going to go there. Joel 2. And, and, then, and then it was our scripture today. I'm like, Father, so you jump in the river. Just jump in the river because it is flowing. And I, I just beseech you, I beseech you that the Lord anoint your eyes, that the Lord anoint your ears, that the Lord anoint your mouth, that you prophesy according to your faith. That's all I know how to do. And, and just do it afraid if you have to do it afraid. That courage comes upon you in Jesus' name. The cards come upon us 
And we proclaim the victory of the blood of Jesus Christ. The victory of the blood of Jesus Christ. And he said, um, therefore, verse 12, Joel 2, verse 12, Therefore also now saith the Lord, Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments. Turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him and uproot all the unclean plans in Agenda 30, 2030, and Agenda 2050? Who cares? Who cares what the devil is plotting and planning? Our Father is the final word. Our Father is the final word, and he will have his way. And he is looking for which one of us will believe. And we will be a company that believes. We will be a sanctified house that believes. We are a sanctified daughter. We are a sanctified bride. We are a sanctified son. This jubilee that we are a part of in Jesus' name. And he said, who knoweth if he will return and repent? Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. That's what we're going to do. We're going to sanctify ourselves and be sanctified. This is a priestly anointing. And Jesus Christ is washing our feet. And Jesus Christ is going to wash us with the word. And Jesus Christ is going to uproot and go down into the depths of our being and set free the captive that's deep in there, in prison, in, in the belly of the earth. And take away all the insecurity and all the inferiority complexes. And all of the I'm less thans. Can't will forever kill Abel if we let him. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, our pillars. Gather the children and those that suck the breasts. Let the bridegroom go forth out of his chambers and the bride out of her closet. We're going to come out of our secret place. We're going to come out of our individual time with the Lord, and we're going to gather as one man. Father likes that a lot. He likes it when we come together in unity, and we hold hands, and we stand shoulder to shoulder, and we carry each other, and we take our place on the wall, and we become sanctified, and we become a body that moves, just like the Joel army. Nobody breaks their ranks. Wow. If we believe for that, if Father can purge us of selfish ambition. But we transferred it from the world into the, into the kingdom of God is what we did. And it's taken him a lot of years to get that out of us. But he made us low. He made Jubilee low for a, on purpose. It was our great blessing. And that's how we have to see ourselves. We're the nameless, we're the faceless, we're the hidden ones. They are the most holy, the most precious of all. I'm telling you, the hidden ones. The hidden ones, okay. Let the priests and ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar and let them say, spare thy people, O Lord. This is our intercession. And give not thine heritage to reproach. The United States of America, we move on behalf of our nation because we love our nation. But this is how we deal with it, in the spirit and the women are going to gather, and the women are going to deal with it in the spirit. And then it's the men. And what will you do, O oh man? What will you do? The men are going to have to be men. You have to do what you have to do. And I don't know what that is because I'm not a man. But I'm not going to stand in your way, and I'm not going to tell you what it looks like. But we're going to, men are going to find your place. You're going to find your place. Because we're going, and we're going to be on our face. That's what our fathers called us to do. And you guys are going to find out what you're doing. And, okay, thank you, Father. <laughs> but I will, <laughs> thank you, Father. Okay, but listen to what the Lord's going to do. The, yes, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and you shall be satisfied therewith. So whatever the enemy is cooking up, to try to kill us and to try to starve us out, our Father's saying something totally different. And whose report are we going to believe? Amen. Okay. Um, 
I want to get down to this one scripture. And I will restore to you the years. This is a word of the Lord, okay, that the Lord gave me and Karen while we were in prayer. He gave this to us. I was praying for a sister, and I watched a parasite type of icky, yucky looking thing go into her, her arm. And um, she's been battling. She didn't even know that I was praying for her. She doesn't know Karen and I were praying for her. But I saw that it was the locust and it was a canker worm and the caterpillar. And she's been battling in her finances for years and years and years. The most beautiful, godly woman. She doesn't go here. And, and then I was, and Karen and I started, you know how something turns into something when you're in prayer and it becomes a vision, it becomes an understanding and a revelation, and then it becomes a word. And it happened to be in Joel too. So I was just so blown away right now. Okay. Um, and he says, I will restore to you, I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten and the cankerworm. Do you know that that means devour? This is going to take us back to the tithe one day, but I have to talk to Pastor Steve about that alone. But I really want to talk about it. The cankerworm, that is the devourer. There has been a devourer, a parasite has come in into our body to try to eat up our heritage and eat up what's ours, our inheritance. And the caterpillar and the palm worm, they're all icky. In fact, here, let me go to my notes. I've got it written down what they are. Um, a devourer, a ravager. The caterpillar is a ravager. Anyway, um, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Okay, so um, we're going to break into groups. I shall stop. We're going to break into groups, and we have our, our things. I have left, I want to explain the sheets a little bit. I have left some things on there, and there are some um, websites. So just, I have provided sources for you to look and see what it is I'm talking about a lot. I have left a few of the items on, on here because we need to be continually holding these up in prayer because we don't pray about them every single time. Y'all know that, um, that Minneapolis just approved their mayor. Y'all know what the mayor just approved? The mayor of Minneapolis yesterday just approved the, call, the Islamic call to prayer five times a day is going to be blowing from Minneapolis's speakers. Five times a day, starting at dawn, Minneapolis. You guys, I just, I pray, I pray that we can make this, let, let the Lord put this burden in our bellies and let him use us to speak and to proclaim and to decree and to uproot and to tear down and to build up. Because we can't, and, and Father's got his people that he's put in his places, and I believe that. I don't believe the devil is the only one doing things. Daniel said, it is Almighty God who rules in the kingdom of men. So I refuse to believe that the devil gets to do anything. But he definitely can deceive, and he has risen up a false god in Minneapolis and has gotten a mayor to sign it into a decree for so we really need to pray for Minneapolis and join with our brothers and sisters. It must be super grieved there, and they're going to wake up at dawn and hear that ringing in their ears. And we, it, needs to, it needs to be overturned, stopped, and cleansed. Overturned, stopped, and cleansed. We don't receive it. We say no. We say no. We do not come in agreement. You know, that's what the enemy does. That's a big Freemason thing. Let me tell you what I'm doing. Oh, nobody fought. And we told you. And you didn't think. See, when you don't say anything, that to them is your agreement. That's just the way it works. That's the way the spiritual life works in the kingdom of men in the earth. That's just how it works. They tell you. They show you. And then you don't do anything. And so they say, well, that was your okay. You didn't say no. So that's why we make sure that we say when we pray, the sons of God say no, or I say no, or we say no, or Jubilee says no, or the people of God, or the bride of Christ, or however the Lord leads you. Make sure that no comes out of your mouth, because the power of life and death is in our tongue. That's why we, Father, is going to hold us accountable. We, we, he, I literally have asked him to muzzle me, 
muzzle me, which is hard <laughs> because, yeah, I'm always talking. But, um, yeah, I, I, have, I, have, I can't say certain things. I don't get to say I'm broke. I'm not allowed to say that. You know why? Because there's power in our mouths, and when Father uses your mouth, like you, Pastor Steve, and Nathan, and all of us, all of us, we're all talking to somebody, and if we become complacent with that, that enemy will try to use it. And, and Father, I don't know. I just, we don't, wanna, that, we don't want that to be our mess up. So we just immediately bring it and say, I renounce that in Jesus' name. Father, forgive me. No, 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 no. I take that back. Mm-mm. So it's not like, you know, the, the end all if you, if you do that. That's why our emotional realm is attacked so much because it's our emotions. That's why crimes of passion exists. Because the passion comes, and the emotions come, and you go, Rawr! and you say something icky. So we just immediately say, nope, I cut that off, the blood of Jesus, absolutely not, I renounce it, blah, 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 okay? And then it, we're, we're sanctified right then and there. Okay, so we're not going to get into fear that because I said such and such one time last week, you know, I, I'm under doom and gloom now. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. So I am going to try to go to this October 12th thing with my friend and be a part of the million women and, um, and, so, and take part in this Joel 2 understanding. And was I saying something else before that? Um, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, just to share the Minneapolis thing. So we're going to break into our groups now. If you see a lot of stuff on the piece of paper, that's because I want you to please keep praying, praying it through. We've got some bills that are waiting in the Senate, like the um, anti-Semitism bill waiting in the Senate. I don't believe they voted on that yet. Um, we've got this new California Dream for All, although they're changing the name of that, which gives um, $150,000 to first-time homebuyers in California. You don't have to be documented. So you can just come straight in from wherever and get a loan and get a house. Um, and we've always given, given uh, medical care and whatever to undocumented. So I really want to just put that in the Lord's hands. I don't want to try to suss all that out. Um, and I'm not going to get crazy mad or anything like that because there's too much going on. And we have very big fish to fry in, our, in the world right now. So we, what we want to do is really pray over the earth, the land, the soil, the, we really want to focus on the land tonight, deliverance from toxins and all that stuff. And so if you guys um, just follow the list I gave you and break off into your groups and pray. Everybody's got their head, they're reading. So you guys go ahead and do that. I'm going to be praying with um, you guys online. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So we're going to pray over the earth um, because we've got a lot, a lot, a lot of things being released and loosed um, into the atmosphere, just going down into the soil, and a lot of toxins that make people sick and making the earth sick. It's basically making the earth sick. And the Word of God says that um, the earth is groaning, that creation is groaning, and he's waiting, and the earth is waiting for the sons of God to be revealed. And so we're taking up that call right now. We're taking on that mandate to pray over this earth that is waiting for us. Um, Revelation, oh, I wanted to share this scripture with everybody, but I'll share it with you guys. Revelation eleven eighteen, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. And the end, I mean, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest given them reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. This is a big, big deal with the Lord. He doesn't like it. It is God's creation. It is his creation. And it is under siege. It's under attack. It is experiencing massive warfare right now. And with all of the climate engineering and the climate um, warfare and the weather warfare, and in my sheet that I made, I give you the website to look up all the patents. We've got like a list of patents, like over 100, um, maybe I don't know how many, over 100 though, starting in like 1800s. 
the very first patent was to make rain in the 1800s. So I didn't know all that was going on for a long time, but for about five to seven years, the Lord has been showing me and sh teaching me all about this. A lot of what is happening in the weather is not the Lord. Um, so when you hear of an earthquake happening in Russia or even an earthquake here, like China Lake, you better believe there's probably, um, there's probably like a, uh, a military base or something nearby. So this is, their, this is what they're doing. They've got these machines and they've got these, wep they've weaponized the weather and they're gonna weaponize carbon, which is our breath. And so the whole point is to reset the whole entire earth underneath a carbon economy. That's the end shot, that's the end goal. And that is with the digital ID, it's with the digital um, CBDC, um, central uh, bank digital currency, and it's with um, vaccine passports and regular passports and all kinds of stuff. It's all going to be centralized and your money is going to be programmable. So if you already traveled, you won't be able to, you know, you'll have a little ding, you can't buy that ground beef or ding, you already used up your carbon. And your carbon will be traded. There's a lot to this. This is like a massive, 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 um, a whole uh, economy. It's like a whole world. And so I can't do it all, I can't do it justice right here. But um, so we want to, so in order to establish that, there's a lot of um, manipulation going on, a lot of flooding, a lot of fires, a lot of stuff going on that they're saying, see, it's a climate, see, it's a climate. Well, no, that was your little hurricane hacker. And no, that was your little earthquake thumper. And no, that was your little, you know, uh, rain machine or, you know, your dew weapon and all this stuff, directed energy weapon. And meanwhile, the earth suffers. Our land is suffering. Meanwhile, our land is suffering. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I just thank you, Lord God. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our land, over the land of the United States of America. Father, in Jesus' name, all the farmland that's been flooded out, Father, in Jesus' name, all the, the soil that has been purposely polluted so that we can't grow uh, food, Father God, we cancel and nullify, Father God, um, the bloodshed, Lord, the the, uh, all the, uh, the blood of abortion that is in our land, Father God, that has permeated our soil, Father God, and has made us unclean, Father. We pray in Jesus' name that you sanctify the United States of America from all of the child sacrifice, all of the blood flowing, Father, in Jesus' name, that you heal our land from this atrocity, Father, in Jesus' name that you heal our land, heal our atmosphere, Father God, from um, all of the pollutants, all of the, um, the, the weaponized, all of these uh, nanoparticulates, Father God, these, these um, that are energized with um, radioactive waves, radio waves and all this stuff, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray that you sanctify our atmosphere, that you sanctify our air, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ to be upon California. The blood of Jesus Christ to be upon California. The blood of Jesus Christ and the power of your resurrection, Lord Jesus, be upon our land. The Pacific Ocean means peace. Our Father saw fit to give us peace and to make our border peace. And so we proclaim peace over California. We proclaim peace in Jesus' name. Bright, sunshiny days. Lord, we call on your weather. Father, we pray that you cancel the plans of darkness, that you cancel the plans of man in Jesus' name. And we renounce and reject the plans of unclean men. We cancel and nullify and reject the plans of darkness, Father God. All weather manipulation, all weather warfare, Father, in Jesus' name. We cancel it and we nullify it. Father, we ask in Jesus' mighty name that you will breathe your life into our soil, that you breathe your breath into our atmosphere and into our skies, Father God, into our oceans, Father, in Jesus' name, that you sanctify our land, Father, just like we were praying earlier to sanctify Jubilee and to sanctify the congregation, Lord, that you sanctify our land. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit to be upon our land, your Holy Spirit to be upon the United States of America. 
that we are a nation of saints in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for calling us the beautiful land, the pleasant land, just like you did Israel, Father God, and you called Israel the pleasant land. And Father, we also proclaim the blessing of the Lord, Father God, and the cleansing and the sanctifying, Father God, in the Middle East. Father, all of the stirring up, all of the unclean, um, unclean doctrines clashing, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, we speak the blessing of the Lord. We speak and proclaim and decree the blessing of the Lord be upon Jerusalem, be upon your holy place in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for healing Israel, Father God, of her sins. Healing Israel, healing Iran, healing Gaza, healing Palestine, Father. Let the people of God be found, Father, in Jesus' name, speaking healing and agreeing with your word that you came, Lord Jesus, when you were born to say peace on earth. We speak and proclaim and decree and declare peace on earth in Jesus' name. Peace on earth, goodwill. The will of our Father is good. The will of our Father is good. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for Saudi Arabia. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name for a whole mindset. I believe that Saudi Arabia is probably one of the most difficult places in the world because of the continual witchcraft and the continual going around in the circle and the circle and the circle over that, over that black box Saturn or whatever that is. And Father, I just pray for a breakthrough. I pray for a breakthrough. I pray for revival. I pray, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, that you would pour out your spirit on all flesh, that you pour it out upon Saudi Arabia. Lord, that you would pour your spirit upon Saudi Arabia, that you would pour your spirit upon Iran, that you pour your spirit upon Afghanistan and Pakistan and Iraq in Jesus' name. Lord, that you pour out your spirit upon Palestine, that you pour out your spirit upon Israel, that you pour out your spirit upon Lebanon and Syria, Father, in Jesus' name. And Father, I pray that greedy men, Lord God, who want gas and who want land, Lord God, I pray in Jesus' name, Father God, that you would just tear it all down. Bring it all down, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask you right now for help for this earth. Help for this earth, Father God. Lord, that you sanctify our cities, sanctify our states, sanctify, Father God, um, all the continents, Father God, from all the bloodshed, Lord, all the warfare, Father, and Lord, that you would push back World War III in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you push back World War III in Jesus' name. We are on the verge, literally the verge of being bombed by Russia. We are on the verge, and insanity is ruling and Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, the sons of God, the people of God, the bride of Christ, disagrees, disavows, uproots, rejects, cancels, and nullifies, Father God, every single insane spirit that chooses, that chooses warfare, that chooses blood, all the bloodlust, in Jesus' name. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you would tear down in agreement with my brothers and my sisters, Lord God, that you would cancel the plans of darkness. Cancel the plans of darkness, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for Russia. I pray for Russia. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that you would heal Russia. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that your spirit would come upon Russia, that you protect her borders, Lord, I pray that you protect her, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you bless Russia. Father, and I know there's uncleanness. I know there's propaganda. I know there's lying and cheating and stealing. And I know, Father God, and Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you would purge Ukraine. Purge Ukraine of uncleanness, Father, in Jesus' name. There's a lot to understand about Ukraine, a lot to understand. And I don't want to... Um, try to teach anything. I'm not in that I'm not in that place. That is not my place at all. But Ukraine is not what we think it is. If you are it's not what we think it is. Father, I ask you in Jesus name, Lord, that you would heal and that you would purge and that you would deliver and that you would sanctify 
Russian Orthodox Church has been outlawed. Um, priests have been taken prisoner. These are Christians. They believe in Jesus Christ. They believe in Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for our brothers and our sisters right now. We ask you, Father God, that you would breathe on your nation of sons, that you would breathe on your nation of holy ones. Lord, as they're dispersed, as we're dispersed, we are like Israel that got dispersed, the diaspora, or however you pronounce that. We're the ones that are dispersed in the earth. We are the holy nation that has been, and we have Christian brothers and sisters on every continent, in every land. We can't just willy-nilly ask for rockets to go in there and blow everybody up. Our brothers and our sisters are there. And our Father wants this earth to be sanctified. And Father, in Jesus' name, Lord God, I pray that you heal and protect, Father God, your holy ones, your saints, Lord, in Jesus' name. Our brothers and our sisters in China, our brothers and our sisters, Lord God, in Iran, our brothers and our sisters, Father God, throughout the earth, Lord, in Nigeria and Africa, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, in Pakistan, our brothers and our sisters in Pakistan, Father, we pray that you strengthen our brothers and sisters. Lord, in Turkey, in Jesus' name. Lord, that you would light those lamps, that you would redeem those seven churches of Turkey, and that you would light those lamps and not allow them to be snuffed out forever, Father. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your banner to be over the earth, the banner of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, salvation to the uttermost, the cross, the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for everyone's sins, who became sin and died on the cross for sin and, would, and died and went into hell and preached in prison in the belly of the earth and rose again on the third day, victorious. He took the keys of hell and death and he went and straight in and he applied the blood on the altar and he sanctified and cleansed the altar and he took the book and he broke the seals and then he came back. Then he showed himself and said, here, touch me. Mary went to touch him and he said, don't touch me, Mary. She saw him as the gardener. She saw him as last Adam. Adam was a gardener. She saw him as a gardener. And he said, don't cling to me. I have not yet ascended to my father. I'm going to my father and your father, my God and your God. And Jesus did that. So if you happen to be watching this and you don't know him, I pray for you right now, for your soul right now in Jesus' name, that you receive salvation from Jesus Christ, that he died for your sins and he rose again from the dead to cleanse you of your sins. Paul said that if Jesus Christ had not died, you would still yet be in your sins, but he is risen and you are not yet still in your sins. If you repent and if you literally from your heart Put off your old life and your old nature in who you walked in, in sin and in debauchery and in your own will, which is Luciferian. Your will being done on earth? No, that's Luciferian. Jesus' will be done on earth. Our Father's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And if you receive that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he came to live in the earth and that he died on the cross for your sins and that he rose again from the dead to save your soul and you believe that and you call out to him right now and ask him to save you and to come into your life and to cleanse you and purge you of unrighteousness, I speak and proclaim right now that you were born again. Father is causing you to be born of his spirit. So go be baptized. Come on Friday night. Be baptized. Nathan is ministering on Friday nights, and you can be baptized here. We can give you a Bible here. You can come to Jubilee, and we will disciple you. And if you don't live in this area, you can still contact us. But be saved. Be redeemed. Receive redemption. I just want to say that so maybe somebody's watching or will watch in the future. And I just want to say that. He's our Redeemer. He is our kinsman Redeemer. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. I bless you, Lord.
Father, we cancel all abortion, the death cult, the death culture that sheds blood and offers a sacrifice to unclean gods. And it is the work of Jezebel. She always raises up her false gods of Baal and Asherah. And they require a blood sacrifice. And that is what we are watching right now. And we reject it. The people of God reject it. We reject abortion. And I refuse to walk by sight. I purpose in myself right now to walk by faith. And I speak right now that you stand with me and that you purpose to walk by faith and not by sight and that all of these unclean bills are overturned. Bur abortion up to birth be overturned. Be overturned. Be overturned in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The power of his resurrection. We speak life. We speak abundant life over this nation. We speak abundant life in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. We do not stand for it. We do not agree with it. It will cease and desist by the blood of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus Christ. By the power of his resurrection. Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Praise you, Jesus. I want to pray for you right now. I pray that the Lord heal you, that the Lord touch you, that the Lord will perfect those things which concern you. May the Lord perfect those things which concern you. Father, I pray for my brothers and sisters. I pray for whoever it is that's watching right now. Father, in Jesus' name. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you heal my brothers and sisters, that you heal us from the tops of our heads to the soles of our feet. And Lord, that you would go out and get our prodigals, Father, in Jesus' name. That you rescue them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. That they come to themselves, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that you would remit sins. Father, we bring our sons before you right now that have gone astray. We bring our daughters before you right now that have gone astray, Lord. Our brothers, our sisters, our parents, Father God, our aunts, our uncles, whoever it is. Father, we bring them before you right now. We ask that you forgive them of their sins. And we remit those sins of those who have sinned against us right now in Jesus' name. And we just purge ourselves right now of every single debt. And we lay down every single debt of sin that has been ever sinned against us and against our Father. And where our feelings were hurt. And we were abused. And we were harmed. And we were broken. And we were left broken. And we were rejected. And we were abandoned. But we loose right now a jubilee. We loose right now a jubilee to those situations in Jesus' name. And we set them free. We set every single one of them, our parents, our brothers, our sisters in the Lord, old pastors, ministers, anybody that ever said anything that hurt us, that was a trigger for us, that locked us up. Father, in Jesus' name, we proclaim jubilee. We remit sins. Father, that we will cast them off from us as, the, as far as the east is from the west. We cast them into the sea of forgetfulness just like you do for us, Lord. That you have forgiven us and we freely forgive. That freely we have received and freely we give. It's a gift. No, they don't deserve it. No, they haven't earned it. Neither did we. We did not deserve our forgiveness. We never earned our forgiveness. And neither will they. They don't owe you an apology. They do not owe you an apology. It would be nice and it would help. But they don't. It's, our love is unconditional. That's perfect love. Perfect love, Father, that you fill our hearts with perfect love. Father, your perfect love, your unconditional love, Lord. Please do this for us, Father. This is the greatest gift, Father, that you would do this for us, Father. Lord, I pray for a sound mind. I pray for your people. I pray for a sound mind. I pray for a sound mind over our region, a sound mind over Jubilee, a sound mind over every single one of us, a sound mind over our households. I speak a sound mind over our government. I speak a sound mind over our land. I speak a sound mind over, our, over Washington, D.C., over our capital, over our leadership. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim, decree, and declare a sound mind, the mind of Christ, right now in Jesus' mighty name. The mind of Christ. The mind of Christ. We cancel and nullify insanity. 
We cancel and nullify Jezebel and your harlotries. We cancel and nullify witchcraft. We cancel and nullify perversion. We cancel and nullify narcissism in Jesus' name. You narcissistic, unclean spirit. The blood of Jesus and the power of his resurrection is against you. You will not march across our land. You will not be in our midst to uproot us from our righteousness. We reject you in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus, we reject you. We do not tolerate Jezebel. Not here, not anywhere. And we put off the sickness and the infirmity and the death that is always attached to Jezebel through toleration in Jesus' name. I thank you for it, Father. I thank you for it, Father. Lord, that you do that work. That you anoint us with the Jehu anointing. That you anoint us, Lord. You anoint the leaders of our land, Father God. Anoint our pastors, anoint our ministers, Father, in Jesus' name. I bless you, Father God, for uprooting insanity. I thank you, Father God, for uprooting all depression and oppression up and out of our mind, up and out of our emotions, up and out of our psychological realm. Uproot all depression, all oppression in Jesus' name, all anxiety. Be uprooted in the name of Jesus. We speak holiness to ourselves, sanctification and consecration and justification and glorification in Jesus' name. We are holy and we are beautiful. The Lord made us so. And I thank you, Father. We reject a Philistine spirit that wants to put dirt inside of your well and stop up your wellspring of life. The blood of Jesus against every Philistine spirit, you unclean thing. The blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father God. We worship you. We bless you. We worship you. We bless you. Be glorified in all the earth, Lord. Be glorified in the United States of America and in our elections. That you rule and reign over our elections. I thank you, Father God. We call on you, Holy Spirit, to come and you set your person in his seat in Jesus' name. You set your leader in their seat in Jesus' name. You sanctify the seats of leadership in our land in Jesus' name. That you come and you establish, Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father God. I thank you for canceling unclean plans of lying, cheating, and stealing. I thank you for canceling unclean plans, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we cancel you. We nullify you. We break agreement with you on behalf of our country right now. We break agreement with you on behalf of our country right now. No weapon formed against the United States of America shall prosper. And every tongue that's risen up against her in judgment, we condemn it. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and our righteousness is of the Lord. And that's the scripture. That's the word of God. And that is the truth. That is the truth. We uproot every single solitary enemy that has crept in our midst. The blood of Jesus. Get out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Okay, let me see what else I've got. Let me just look it up real quick. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um, the okay, so we've got pestilence and all that stuff coming. Okay, so, Lord, I just, and also the pandemic treaty. Um, we just want to keep praying for these things, and I'm asking you to please keep praying for these things. It's really hard for me because I can't see you. <laughs> so, um, but if you need to know, you can always email me individually if you want to. I'm Lenny Luhu, L-Y-N-N-I-E-L-U-H-U, Lenny Luhu, L-Y-N-N-I-E-L-U-H-U at Gmail. And I will send you, um, I'll email you these forms and any of the sources that you need so that you can kind of read and study and, and learn. Um, so, Father, we just continue to pray, Father God, for our government. Father, you know that we're in a very pivotal, pivotal hour. Father, Lord, you see, you know, you understand, you perceive, you see what's coming, you see what's being planned to come. Father, 
And so, Father, I thank you for putting your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, your counsel, your might, and the fear of the Lord upon us. Into us at Jubilee, Lord God. Into us in California, Father. Into us in the United States of America, Father. And, Lord, that it pours through us and pours out of us, Father, in Jesus' name. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom, Lord God. The spirit of knowledge and understanding and counsel. A spirit of counsel, Father, to be upon us, that we know which way to go. We know which way to walk in, Father. A spirit, Father God, of might, the power of God, the power of God be loosed upon us, Lord, that we are not complacent to walk without your power. Father, that you pour your power out. The spirit of might, the spirit of might, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom, which hates evil. The fear of the Lord hates evil. That's why we hate it. That's why we're so, it messes us up when we hear about such yucky things. Because we have the fear of the Lord upon us. And it despises the evil. It rejects the evil. Wisdom rejects evil. And we break agreement right now with darkness. We break agreement with evil right now on behalf of our family behalf of, on behalf of our loved ones that don't know the Lord yet we stand in the gap between the dead and the living in the name of Jesus Christ we take our place and we stand in the gap father God that you save father that you heal father that you deliver Lord in Jesus name that you not look upon the sin of our loved ones, Father God, that you heal and save and sanctify our nation, Father, in Jesus' name. We cancel every unclean word against this country. We, answer, we cancel every single un ungodly word against this country. Any unclean thing that has been spoken that was not the will of our Father, we break it, we cancel it, we nullify it by King Jesus, by the blood of King Jesus, in Jesus' name. And I thank you for that, Father. I thank you for that, Father God. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that you will shut our mouths if we are not proclaiming your will. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Father. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Father. Give us insight, Father God. Show us your will, Lord God, that we don't walk around not knowing it, Lord, that we are people who know and understand that you give us eyes to see that we see and we perceive and ears to hear and an understanding heart, an understanding heart that sees and hears and says, oh, I know what that is. The blessing of the Lord be upon us. The blessing of the Lord be upon Jubilee. The blessing of the Lord be upon California. The blessing of the Lord be upon the United States of America. And especially Milwaukee or Minnesota, whichever place that was that I said earlier, Minneapolis in Jesus' name, the blessing of the Lord be upon you in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Father. I thank you for it, Father. You know how to deal with it, Lord. You know how to deal with it, Father. And I thank you for it, Father. I thank you, Father God, for deliverance to the uttermost, every single one of us, Lord, that you help us that enter into deliverance, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I pray for love. I pray for love. I pray for love. We reject hate. We reject hate. We don't hate. We don't hate. I bless you for love, Father God, that you make us one man in this nation, that we hug each other and love each other, that we're for each other. I thank you for that, Father. Lord, I thank you for putting out the fires, Lord putting out all the chaos or the, the paid rioters, the paid ones to get in the street because they're getting paid to bring discourse, to bring chaos. We cancel that in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, I just love you and thank you so much, Father, for who you are. I thank you for leading us into prayer. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping us pray. I thank you for your anointing to be upon us for prayer, Father. I thank you, Father, for hearing us. I thank you for hearing us. Your word says that if, you, that if we pray according to your will, you hear us. And if we know you hear us, we know we have that petition. 
And we have prayed according to the will of our Father. We have prayed according to the will of our Father. So I'm going to do a blessing now over us. I'm going to do the number six blessing. I asked Nathan where this was, and we just sang this on Sunday. And it's so powerful. It's the Aaron's blessing. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, And as the children of Jubilee and as the children of God, we receive this blessing to be upon us, that the Lord bless us and keep us, that the Lord make your face, Father, to shine upon us and be gracious unto us, Lord, that you, Lord, lift up your countenance upon us, Lord, and give us peace. And Lord, that, that um, they shall put your name, we shall, we shall put your name upon our house and you will bless us. In Jesus' name, amen.